This video will show how to teach Sense Apart's FT50C color sensor. There's two different ways you can teach it. And uh, we'll have links in the comments below so you can skip right to the section you want. Within this family, you've got some options. You can choose what spot size you want, and you can choose uh, a couple different output options. The 4 millimeter diameter spot is the most popular. And the 3 discrete output is also the most popular. And this and the RS-45 both have 5 sensitivities. We have a 1 discrete output model that's only available with medium sensitivity. The 4 millimeter round spot size also has the biggest range in distance. You can be from 12 to 32 millimeters away from the target. The best performance is when the spot size is in focus. The first way you commonly teach the sensor is you teach it uh, a color and you set the tolerance around that. We've got five levels, fine, uh, medium, and rough. The other way you can teach it is by just presenting vastly different colors to the sensor. You can choose the cyan, the magenta, red, green, and blue of those particular shades, and um, those are the colors that will declare as good. When mounting the sensor, you want to mount it at about a 15 degree angle, and you want to mount it as close to 22 millimeters from the part away as possible. Um, the angle is because if you had it perpendicular, it would see mostly white, kind of like taking a flash picture against a window. But by putting it at an angle, you don't get the flash of white. It can see the different colors better. If you're trying to pick up the color of a transparent object or the liquid inside a transparent bottle, we can do that with an optional reflective tape. And you do still need to mount the sensor at a 10 to 30 degree angle. And we have this mount that allows you to swivel or tilt it to get that angle. This shows the output of the 8 pin model. The three outputs are for each uh, independently programmed color channel. And this is uh, the wiring diagram showing the color codes of the different cables. The de facto standard color cable is shown on the left. And if you have an existing DIN standard color coded cable, 8 pin cable, uh, this table will uh, allow you to easily <laughs> wire up the sensor. And we'll also have a link to this in the comments. First, we'll cover the method of teaching one color with a tolerance around that color, as shown here. To do that, you enter program mode, you pick which channel you want to teach, you select your sensitivity, and then you do that for the other channels. So to enter program mode, you press and hold the set button for more than three seconds. When you you're in run mode, you press and hold the set button. When the green light goes out, then you're in program mode. Once in program mode, you can first set, select the channel by tapping the next button, and you go to the next channel, the next channel, the next channel, the next channel, and back around. The uh, option where all three channels are lit up together is for programming additional functions that we'll get to at the end. Once you have the desired channel selected, press and hold the set button for more than three seconds. And then the green light will come back on and one of the tolerance lights will also come back on. So again you press the next button to select your tolerance and you can pick levels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 
Uh, all three together is invalid. And when you have that sensitivity selected, um, you need to have the target below the sensor. When you press and hold the set button for more than three seconds, uh, it will uh, look at the target and teach itself for that channel. And when it's done, the run light will go back to green. And you've taught that channel. So now you just need to repeat these steps and then test it. Put the uh, color for channel 1 and make sure the channel 1 color light comes on. And the same with 2 and 3. Here's a real world example with a paint swatch. We'll teach channel 2 to medium tolerance. We'll press and hold the set button to go to program mode. You saw the green light go off, meaning we're in program mode. We'll tap the next button to scroll through the channels. Run 1, 2, 3. This is to teach special functions we'll get into later. Next. Next. Next, we're on channel 2. Now we want to teach the tolerances, so we'll press and hold the set button. And we're actually on the middle tolerance of 5, but we'll scroll through them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we'll go back around to 2. I'm sorry, we'll go back around to 3, the middle tolerance. And press and hold the set button to teach that color. And now we'll test it. Only the taught color does the channel 2 output come on, and not on other shades of green either. Next we'll teach all three channels the same color with different tolerances. Channel 1 will be the finest tolerance, 2 will be medium, 3 will be the roughest, widest tolerance. So again, press and hold set to go from run mode to program mode. On channel 1, we'll press and hold set to put the tolerance to 1 with the next button. When the tolerance is on 1, we'll press and hold set to teach that color at that tolerance. Okay, then we again go back to program mode to teach the next channel. Channel 2 at tolerance 2. And now channel 3. at the roughest, widest tolerance, number five, and we'll press and hold and teach all three colors. And now when we move to the next adjacent color, you can see the fine tolerance channel one dropped off, and we only have two and three. And we go to the next furthest color away on the paint swatch. And we only have the roughest, widest color. Another way you can teach this sensor is for different colors. So if you have um, an assembly with that you want to make sure is complete, but a particular cap could be vastly different colors, not just close shades of one color, that's what this is for. It's kind of shown here. You can see you teach a light shade of cyan and then a darker shade of magenta, red, and green, and blue, and the output will be on for all of those colors that you taught. And here's how you do it. You enter program mode, you select the channel, and then you press and hold the set button and present all of the various colors you want to teach and then let up on the set button. So the key is as long as you're holding the set button, you're teaching the colors. So step by step, you press and hold the set button again to enter program mode more than three seconds and the green light will go off and you're in program mode. Then you select the channel you want by tapping the next arrow. <clears throat> Once you've done that, you press and hold the set for more than 10 seconds until the green light flashes. Don't let go of the set button yet. Once the green light is flashing, 
Now you're teaching the sensor. So any color you present to the sensor um, will be remembered. So you put one color at a time under the sensor as you're holding the button. And once they're all taught, then you can release the set button. And check that the green light is on solid for run mode. Here's a real world example showing all of these various colors. We're going to teach from blue to that brown. So we're going to present this to the sensor. Again, we're going to go to program mode, pressing and holding the set button until the green light goes off. We'll pick the channel, channel 3 in this case, and we'll press and hold the set button for many seconds. Beyond 3, we're in program mode. Beyond 10 here, the green light's flashing. We're learning these colors now. Each color we present to the light, to the sensor, it's learning. The two shades of green, the purple, and the blue. So now that we've presented all those colors, we can let up on the set button. And you can see the output 3 is still on for all of these colors. And for the browns that are similar to the top brown. But for no other colors is the output on. There are some additional functions in this sensor. You can restore to the factory defaults. You can uh, enable a teach input for remote teaching from a remote push button or from a PLC. So you could program a button on your HMI through the PLC to teach the sensor. The other thing we have is a pulse stretch on all outputs to 50 milliseconds. So if a color blips by, you could keep the output on for 50 milliseconds to ensure your PLC discrete input will see it. To configure the additional functions, again we go to program mode by pressing and holding set for more than three seconds until the green light goes out and then we're in program mode. And you, when you select the channel, we want to select all three channels together. That will be to select additional functions and then we press and hold the set button for more than three to check the tolerances. But here, they actually are uh, for different special function, functions. The pulse stretch, you can enable the external teach, and we're going to uh, restore it to factory defaults. Once you've selected factory defaults, press and hold the set to accept that selection. You'll see the green light come on, and then some red tolerance lights are still on. You need to press the next arrow to make the red lights go out. And once that's happened, you then you press and hold the set button to return to run mode. And you'll see the green light will be on. Here's a real life factory defaults. The sensor's in run. We press and hold set for more than three seconds to go into program mode. The green light will go off. And now we press the next arrow until all three channels are lit up. That's what we want, special functions. So press and hold the set to accept that. Now we have the tolerance lights, which are special function lights. And we want the bottom two lit for factory default. Then we press and hold the set button to accept that. and the green lights back on. Now we need to clear those red lights, so we tap the next arrow, and they go out. And we just accept this by pressing and holding the set button, and this will return us to run mode. And now we're in run mode, the sensor's acting normally. So one real world example of using scan mode would be if in the beginning you have only the high quality part, and later on you could have things of varying quality, such as like a uh, a paint marker to show an operation's been completed in an assembly. Here you can see the large complete squares are detected and the smaller ones are not. You can use scan mode to teach the edge of 
the target and teach it with the sensor or the target at many different angles as shown here. And then when we test it, it works on the same large ones and it works on the two small ones now. This sensor can also detect the color of transparent objects. If you had a red bottle or a green bottle, it could detect those. Or in this example, we're showing a clear transparent coffee cup with uh, colored liquid. We have an optional reflector for transparent objects to help differentiate between very close colors. Again, we're going to teach the three channels with the three tolerances. Channel 1, here we're teaching it with the lowest, finest tolerance. And then we'll teach channel 2 for medium tolerance. And finally, channel 3, the roughest tolerance. So you can see as you slide this glass in, where the beam just hits a little bit of the blue, you get the roughest tolerance, 3. And then you slide a little more, you get 2. And you slide it all the way through, you get 1. That was 4 drops of food coloring. This is 12 drops of food coloring. So you can see the finest tolerance, channel 1, does not pick this up. To illustrate this better, we'll start with this clear glass of water and we'll add drops of food coloring to it. There's one, two, channel three came on, four, five, excuse six, channel two comes on, and when we stir it up, now you get channel one. 